who's sending you stuff, but you throw yourself on that boat, and already you feel like, man, something, you know, I'm a part of something pretty cool. You know, this is, this is, uh, this is impossible to beat. You can't replicate that experience. You can, you can go to Lake Powell, but to get on that boat, you got to be a six-figure income earner in this team. You know, and, uh, and it, it was just cool. I mean, you know, you're on a, you know you're on a serious boat when multiple times during the trip you're making phone calls to people on the boat to find out where they're at. You know, that's not just a, a houseboat. You know, that's a cruise ship. Um, <laughs> like, where, you know, and at, at one point I was looking for Ryan and it took about 15 minutes because apparently we kept passing each other on floors, you know, on different ends of the boat. Uh, and that, and to me, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's not an irritating experience. It was funny. Uh, and I mean, just one thing after the other was, was really cool. It was a perfect combination of a cool place to be, but also the amenities, you know, the, um, and the toys. There was, a uh, you know, uh, three, uh, speed boats there. Uh, one of them, or, or yeah, three of them. Four of them? Four of them at one point. There were four of them. Uh, yeah, and then one of them took a, uh, took a rock to the belly. Um, uh, so another SMD in the team that's, that's down south brought his boat, and they, they managed to catch the prop on a rock, um, which was not, not a good experience for them. But, uh, Still they were positive the whole time. Very positive the whole time <laughs> and had insurance and just thought, whatever. Um, that's, this stuff happens. Um, part of the uh, part of the thing, but it didn't damper anything for anyone. It was There's still boats. There was more boats. Uh, it, one of the boats is a hundred fifty thousand plus boat, um, and what a crazy deal! Two uh, three hundred uh, plus horsepower motors on the back of this thing. Um, that thing just flew. We were going about seventy five plus in that thing on the water, uh, which is quite an experience if you have if you've never gone seventy five miles per hour plus on a boat. Uh, it's, very different than going 75 in a car, just so you know. Um, but it was it was awesome, uh, just incredible. Um, and uh, the excursions on the on the last day, we we took off again and went and did some cliff uh, jumping on uh, 30, 40 plus uh, foot uh, cliffs, uh, and it was awesome. Just Deanne jumped off a massive <laughs> herb, uh, it was, was fantastic. Uh, we have all that on video, all 40 minutes of it or whatever it was, Dan. It was exciting. Uh, <laughs> I freed up a lot of memory when I sent you that. Yeah. <laughs> Chris jumped off, I think, the biggest one. Which couldn't be videotaped because all video footage was used on Dan. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, man, it was just so much fun. It was uh, also a great combination of... of sort of just relaxation and leisure time and no pressure and no agenda. The right mix of people like, hey, I'm I'm gonna take this boat out. If anyone wants to go, great. If not, you know, see ya, you know, and uh, uh, it was just cool. Um, very, very, very cool. Uh, the shared, uh, you know, uh, dinner and lunches and breakfasts, you know, kind of created a cool camaraderie as well. Um, and, uh, dinner on this uh, restaurant that overlooked Lake Powell, which was uh, just a cool experience uh, also. I mean, so many, so many incredible moments. Um, uh, I, I enjoyed, you know, they had a hot tub on the very top deck, and we were sitting out there talking for uh, way too long the, the segment of last night. Um, um, but it was just, it was just cool. Um, very, very awesome experience, and I'm beyond grateful for uh, Bryce and Marianne. And, uh, I, I've said this uh, I don't know how many times in my career too, but I, I, I would never choose to be in business with anybody else but them. And I've, I've seen moments of imperfection uh, that you, you probably haven't seen as many of. You stick around long enough and you'll find out that, uh, that some people are people. Uh, aren't you glad you're not a people? That, uh, isn't that, are you glad you don't make mistakes and that you can just admire the uh, other people's imperfections? Uh, but uh, but regardless of any anything that I've ever experienced, uh, 
good people with good hearts and um, great people to be in business with. I would never want to be in business with anybody else. And, uh, and the, the, the last thing that I think stands out a ton is that this is going to be a repeat experience a lot. I don't, I don't know that, that it, it will be every year, but I would imagine every other year, probably at a minimum. Um, maybe every year, you know, it's hard to say. Um, but, uh, but Bryce and I were talking about it again. You're, you're, you're probably not getting on that boat if you're not a $100,000 earner. Uh, but in our business, that's a, you know, that's just the, the starting point. And so um, I would just focus on getting there by next summer, and and trying to get uh, try and get some more of these experiences. It was just uh, very very cool. Even the road trip out, uh, Chris and Deanne offered uh, asked me if I want to ride with them. Uh, I think a few hours before that, Rob had asked me if uh, he could ride with me. And so because he was riding with me, he was riding with them and, uh, and uh, I was a at a stood a slow way. Uh, but that was a that was a great thought also by Chris and Deanne was uh, you know, hey, let's let's ride together and connect and and that's also a, a decision of association that was smart on their part. Um, but also fun. And then on the way home we decided, well, let's let's not let this end. So we uh, we went to Bryce Canyon. Who's been there before? Bryce Bryce Canyon. But it was uh, we were the only three people who had. <laughs> it was uh, it was fun uh, just to do what you want. And the reality is uh, our businesses are such, our lives are such that we could have said uh, let's just go somewhere for another two or three weeks or a month or two or three months or whatever. And that's empowering. It feels good. So let's uh, let's bring up Rob real quick. I don't know where Amy and Bobby are. Did they? In St. George. Oh, they stayed in St. George. That's right. I forgot. So they went to go see some clients and uh, do some business um, down there. So I forgot about that. Uh, but let's hear from Rob and just give a few minutes on on uh, what stood out to you. Maybe just take five minutes. And we can hear from Chris. Yeah. Oh, there's a ton of stuff that stood out. <clears throat> Um, to me, just, um, I go back a couple of weeks, and I was meeting with Bryce, or, or said hi to him in, <clears throat> in South Jordan. He says, Rob, you're coming on the boat, right? And I'm like, because I, I, I was a little bit more self-conscious about it, because I haven't quite earned the ring yet. And so, I, I told him, I said, I, I, I'm qualified. <clears throat> and, and he says, he said, Rob, you qualified in my book. You're coming on the boat. So it's like, just to be in business with somebody like that, you know, just to see the, the potential, um, you know, we're, we're pretty close to hitting it. But, but still, it was just, a, it was, I felt a little bit like I shouldn't have been there, but I was glad to be there for sure. <clears throat> it was really, really exciting. The first thing... I remember when I got on the boat, the very first thing, Marianne comes up to me, and of course, she said, um, where's Cher? Yeah. <laughs> and so it's like, <clears throat> you know, just to have leaders that know who you are and to, to care about you and your family, and, you know, just to, to have her care, you know, about where, where Cher is. And, and she told me straight out, it's not going to be the same trip. She said, no offense to you, but... It's not going to be the same without Cher being there, and I, I totally agreed. I couldn't agree more, but for me especially. But um, I got her on the phone. I did a video call with Cher and with my, my children, actually. I did a video call with my kids so they could get a chance to see some of the lifestyle that we live in. And, and uh, uh, so I, I was walking around the boat, and there was Mary Ann, so I put Mary on, Mary Ann on with Cher, and they, they had a, a good long conversation. But... It was just, there were so many things that stood out. I mean, just the, um, Michael and I had a <clears throat> conversation on the way back about, you know, what if we could, you know, aren't we glad we don't have to go to the job tomorrow? I mean, we could, I, I asked him when we were going to Bryce, I said, well, do you have anywhere to be tomorrow? And he goes, no. Oh. I said, well, let's go to Bryce. That'd be, that'd be a great side, a side trip. If you've never seen Bryce, you'd definitely want to go see um, that canyon and just an amazing place, but but to to have to come back to go to work that I, I, 
been that position before, and it's, it's, um, it was just a unique deal to be able to just say, I don't care when you get back, it doesn't even matter. And, and it was a lot of fun. But, but also to get a rub shoulder with some of the other people that were there, I got, I got to build relationships with people in Washington, D.C. and in Virginia, and we're set the same place. Okay. So, <clears throat> but to build relationships, and one guy was I, I was in a I was down in what they call a cuddy. I mean, you literally have to get on your hands and knees to get into the room, which is, um, you know, I I was I just told Bryce I said, dude, I'm glad to be on the boat. <laughs> it's like I don't care where you put me. There was people that were sleeping. Uh, there were some that were sleeping outside. I know one night it was pretty hot, um, so they had the little baby and, and to try to take care of a baby without, you know, having air conditioning and that kind of stuff. So I was just I was just thrilled to be on the boat. And the one guy that I was kind of sleeping next to, he was he was from Ohio, and uh, he was saying, "Dude, how do you feel about being?" He called it the cubby hole, you know. And I said, "Dude, I'm just so thankful." to be on the boat. It's like, I'm, I don't care where I can sleep. This is, I'm sleeping. It's like, and it's dark, you know, I don't care. I just close the little door and you can go to sleep. And so it didn't matter to me, but, um, but um, you know, Michael had, you know, he had this beautiful suite, his own private bathroom, which, you know, just, yeah, I don't know what was on the room, your room. I'm not even sure what the hell he's even talking about. That was so okay. it. beautiful. <laughs> Well, yeah, I was dancing and singing in my room. Well, bird. you guys had no reason to go down to the dungeon. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but if you're if you're on a three million dollar boat, there's there's just not a bad spot in the house. So it was, it was, it was, there's a message there too because the 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 rooms were uh, the rooms were uh, assigned by income. Yeah. So, so I got the best of the pick, not based on me picking. Oh wait, yes I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I chose so, that a few years ago. But just to build the relationships, um, you know, I spent a lot of time with Chris and Deanne, and and just to be able to build and strengthen our friendship, that was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, yeah, we got a lot of highlight reels. But uh, anyway, just man, do what you can to earn those. You know, just man, put in some effort and just go for it. And and you just be glad that you did. I I, I had a couple people. Um, I, I heard, overheard a couple of conversations that I I couldn't believe that I was hearing. I won't go into them, but it's it's like man, be thankful that you're on the on the boat. Be thankful that you're in the company. And I I agree with Michael. I I could have been with a couple of other teams when I came back, but I I I would not want to be on a on a on a different team than where we're at right here. It's amazing, you guys. So just put in some effort and go for it, man. It's just awesome. Appreciate the, the time. That's awesome. <laughs> I got a couple seconds I'll share and then I'll turn it over to Deanne. But um, I don't know. I think that, like. Stand up, brother. Stand up. That's a different vibe if you're standing. He loves just talking to the wall. <laughs> I mean, this is a good talk. Hey, uh. Um, I feel like I'm becoming more and more clearly seeing different, there's different, there's different levels. There's different groups of people, there's different levels, and not really just in this company, but just in society and in general. And, um, Try to convey my message. I think that like become very comfortable in certain groups. Um, I'm not really sure how to explain it, but I, I just feel like uh, there there's a certain way of thinking of hey, you're welcome for just who you are, and I love I love that aspect of in general. But I don't think it's the only way to. I, think, I don't think it's the only type of association you want. And there's these other groups that 
are accepting of that, but they're also accepting of you becoming a better you. And you feel uncomfortable around these different levels and these different groups. In fact, you don't even know they exist because you don't rise out of this other group to get into there. And I mean, I guess we could dig really deep into political viewpoints or maybe religious viewpoints or whatever different viewpoints. Um, but I just think that like you start to enter certain other levels and certain other groups and you're invited to certain other things when you start to mature in the group that you are and you need to go to the next level. Kind of like first graders get promoted to second graders. Fifth graders get promoted to sixth graders. It would be doubtful that the first grader would go to sixth grade. Like in one year, does that make sense? So you got to kind of, and don't hang out at one grade for too long. And what I realized that this company is, like honestly, it wouldn't have done justice for someone who is making 25 grand to be on that boat. I mean, it's just how it is. It, but anyways, I, I sent a message out to some people who are in our SMD acceleration circle. And uh, I just figured I'd read it. Uh, I think it's, it's relatable to this. I said, many, many people come into this business. They see many people becoming millionaires, having control of time and money, and creating true freedom in their lives. They can truly make decisions around their priorities. Tens of thousands buy the dream, but few sell out to the hustle. What is the difference? It's consistency. Consistency is the key. We just got back from the most ridiculous Lake Powell trip. I can't even explain the craziness. Maybe it was the 110 foot houseboat that had two kitchens, four refrigerators, flat screen TVs in every room. Or maybe the fact that every room that I saw on the boat had a king size bed in it. So obviously I can see where Rob was sleeping. But still, I mean, that's just what my perception was. No, I made a king size bed out of that. Yeah, good. <laughs> I could have been the boat we took out every day that went 80 miles an hour. By the way, it wasn't a speed boat. So if you can start to kind of understand it was a normal boat that went 80 miles an hour, that's a lot different than a speed boat that goes 80 miles an hour. We stacked 10 people in that boat and we went 80 miles an hour. It pretty freaking sick. Was it the wave runner that went 50 miles an hour plus with two people on them? Or was it the friendships that were strengthened and the new relationships that were built and the plans that were made to invest more and with each other? I'm not sure, but here's what I know. There's a different world out there, one that operates at a different level. These people at this different level, they weren't born into it. They didn't have some special gift, but they do all have commonalities to their story. You have made it this far. Now you want to be consistent for several years, working 50 hours a week, making contacts every day, meeting new people in the form of prospecting, getting referrals every day, and doing first presentations every day in the tune of 10 a week. You'll want to be consistent because this other world, this different world, is worth a hundred times the sacrifice and a hundred times better than what you think it is. And I just said, finish your month strong. You know, um, if if not this, then what? If not now, then when? If not you, then who? Who will make your dreams come true? And so that's that's my thought coming out of that. that <laughs>